Welcome back everyone. This is a 1 32nd scale car I'm working on and I'm incorporating suspension into it as you can see there. Sorry if my arm is kind of in the way. This tire is just kind of sitting there just for visual purposes. It's really not doing anything because I'm actually working on breaking in the reduction gear in the slot car world, they call that a crown gear and a motor pinion gear. So I have it chucked into my drill. I've lubricated all the rotating points and I've spun my drill back and forth, back and forth till it gets a nice and free rotation. If you look carefully, you can kind of see some sort of discoloration there on the motor pinion gear. And that's showing me that it's working properly right we can see a little bit of debris inside there probably should hose it down again with some more oil and rotate it some more but i don't think i'm going to get too much better because of the foam tire actually rubs up against the aluminum right there and i think i'm just going to let it be and let the tire wear itself out to the aluminum and just let it be what it is you know it is what it is it's going to be all right you know so in other words this car will actually get faster over time as the tires wear to the aluminum and cause and, and actually reduce the amount of friction going on right now but the wear feels very nice one thing to take into consideration also is if your motor happens to spin faster one direction than the other i have cleared enough of this aluminum where I can swap this gear around to the other side just in case if I have to rotate it so that may be something you want to take into consideration as well that's what makes this kind of inline setup so much nicer than if the motor was parallel with the rear axle you'd have to flip the whole axle over whereas this way you can just flip the crown gear you know, so if the motor spins really fast to the left and it's going in reverse, we'll slip the crown gear over and then it will go forward very fast by comparison, right? Very easy. That motor happens to be a Tamiya Plasma Dash or, oh, excuse me, Ultra Dash. I believe this one was just a little over $4 plus shipping. I've seen them as high as like $12. This one happens to be uh, 24,000 to 27,000 RPM, and they typically run on two AA batteries. These are for the Tamiya slot cars, but they are a 130 sized motor. They fit perfectly for these slot cars, and they've been in everything even as big as like 112 scale toy grade cars. So here is the factory original chassis and original motor, except these don't expect to hook a LiPo up to this right away and expect it to go because this is actually designed to run on like 12 volts, whereas this one's designed to run on 3 volts, for example. So a fully charged LiPo will be just a hair over 4 volts, if I remember right. But so they should be a very good match, at least with that a lipo and a that motor right there. The slot car motor is not an option unless you want to take it apart and rewind. Right, that's the only other option you have. So these tires, here's the factory original chassis. These tires are also almost twice as wide as the originals. Right, so this car should have a lot of grip. I did test the Iron Man Camaro on my hardwood floor. Surprisingly, it works very well considering the hard tires. It spins out a little bit in a hard corner. It's not very fast and as to be expected, it uses a little tiny servo motor for the power, but it still works amazingly quite well. And that would probably be somebody for around eight years of age to do something like that. But it's still a novelty item. Kind of neat to be able to drive around on your living room floor or your kitchen floor or whatever. You have a, a nice smooth surface. Not really fast at all by any stretch of the imagination. 
I guess scale speed would probably be close to 60 miles an hour, I would guess. I don't know, it's pretty slow. But it, it works with proportional steering and proportional throttle. This one should be significantly faster, given that it's got a larger motor, bigger tires, grippier tires, and a, I would say probably a better gearing system in there. But it'll be running on a single cell or as an Iron Man run on a two cell, so we'll see. They might be fairly comparable, but either way, I bet this one is faster.